When you think of major YouTube stars, you maybe think of PewDiePie or Mr. Beast or Logan Paul, but before they all came along, there was one online star who had the platform in a chokehold. A creator who was basically inescapable for the early 2000s, which was either a blessing or a curse, depending on how much you enjoy listening to this voice. Hey, it's me, Fred! What the hell happened to Fred? Fred Figglehorn was a squeaky voiced child who loved screaming, being loud, <laughs> and a fictional love interest called Judy, a character created by Lucas Cruikshank when he was only 13 years old. Lucas had worked up the character on a sketch channel initially, and then created a dedicated channel for Fred in 2005, with the ear piercing nuisance quickly amassing 1 million subscribers, the very first YouTube channel ever to do so. What followed was a meteoric rise to fame, as the world struggled to deal with the concept of an internet celebrity. Fred had multiple TV appearances on Nickelodeon, including iCarly, he had his own Christmas song, which was actually uh, kind of a bop, and three different movies, all of which were reviewed in quite a lively manner by the critics. They didn't love them. In 2012, almost a decade after first launching his YouTube channel, Fred got his own TV show called Fred Day, which was cancelled after one season, probably because it was too ahead of its time. In the year 3000, all TV shows will be like this. In 2014, Lucas attempted what all comedians eventually try when a comedy character reaches its peak. He tried to pivot with an announcement that he would stop doing Fred. He killed Fred! He killed that little boy! Thank God! And he then tried to start another series, sort of as himself, and it, it did not go well. I mean, Fred was based around one thing, a squeaky voice, you know, being loud, being hyper, if you take that away, you'll still have some fans, but it's like Borat if he became PC <laughs> and British. My name is Borat, it's nice to meet you. This is my wife. Then there was a truly bizarre twist when Lucas sold the Fred channel to a South Korean company who took it over and started uploading videos of a Korean child playing a new Fred. Well, a Fred-type character. The channel also attempted a variety of other shows, including one called In Your Face, where Jake Paul interviewed people in public, which sounds absolutely wonderful. I can't believe I missed it. Hopefully they release a 4K Blu-ray box set so I can just binge it all. But in the end, Lucas bounced back from from Fred, and although he's not as big as he once was, he's still active on his own channel, which is simply named Lucas, which has over 3 million subscribers. So yeah, I think he'll be fine. RIP in peace, Fred. We hardly knew ye. You. You're screaming down in hell now. For more videos about what happened to former YouTube stars, and of course just for regular YouTube news, make sure to subscribe to this very channel. It's called YouTube News. Buttons down here. And then be on your way.